In a parallel universe where the second Doctor was pardoned instead of being exiled to Earth, the sixth Doctor was Lord President Admiral of Gallifrey during the war. There, the enemy had always had access to rudimentary time corridors and travel machines, but they gained temporal manipulation powers after the Master defected to their side. The Doctor described them as an old foe with calculating tin mines and jet black saucers. Pros, the Quantum Archangel. Iris Wild Time owned a book entitled Doctor Who in an exciting adventure with the Daleks. Pros, bafflement and devotion. During the war, Ostrev remembered fellow Time Lord inductees sharing an illegal copy of the book, whose title had been redacted to Doctor. In an exciting adventure with the enemy because proper names in the titles of documents were automatically edited out by house military software for reasons of war security. Pros, the taking of Planet 5. In the aftermath of the Galactic War of the 26th century, the Daleks were referred to impersonally as the enemy. Pros, beige planet Mars. Gallifrey eventually fought the Daleks in a time war known widely as the Last Great Time War, TV, gridlock, but which was occasionally called simply, the war. Pros, meet the Doctor. Given that the Daleks were their opponent during this conflict, the Time Lord sometimes simply referred to the Daleks as the enemy, audio, sphere of influence, and the squire recalled the Dalek Empire as the great enemy the Time Lords faced. Comic. Pull to open. In its section on the last great time war, a history book about end space recounted that the Time Lords had long prophesied a coming war that would bring about their destruction at the hands of a mysterious enemy. Pros. The Hooniverse. One history of the Daleks written after the last Great Time War claimed that the Time Lords had first decided to take action against the Daleks because they believed the coming of the Daleks represented the emergence of the enemy they had long prophesied. Pros. Dalek. The astounding untold history of the greatest enemies of the universe. Nevertheless, some accounts, while entertaining the possibility of the enemy being the Daleks, dismissed the possibility. The Time Lord Homunculet, passing through a ravaged Earth in the course of his quest for the relic, reflected that Earth was lucky compared to Gallifrey. It had been invaded, but only by a bunch of mindless biomechanoids with speech impediments. Whereas, in Homunculet's opinion, the Time Lords were up against something really dangerous. Pros. Alien bodies. A briefing described xenophobic mutants traveling in their own personal war machines as one of the several groups that some considered the enemy but were in reality just one of the groups trying to take advantage of the war in heaven for their own ends. Pros. Pre-narrative briefings. Lawrence Burton thought to himself that the enemy might be those outer space robot people that appeared in at least two films with Peter Cushing. However, he dismissed the possibility as implausible. Pros. We are the enemy.